the attention to detail, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before on any production I've been on. I just thought, how many hours have a team of people spent being in here making this just right? It took me about three months from start to finish, from 3D modelling to drawing details, CADing the entire thing. The actual bodily library itself, the public aren't allowed just to walk in and take photos, so I had to research quite in depth and manage to find things online that I could work from. I was scaling from tiny, tiny little photos until we could actually go to the real place. And I spent a long time working out each individual measurement, things like bookcases so we can create them all the same. We've constructed this out of various different substances. So some of it's wood, like these, which is real. Some of the things, like these books, which clearly aren't real, they're made of polystyrene. We've made these and turned these all ourselves, and then we've got some very, very clever painters and scenic artists who put it all together. There's a lot of scaffolding in here and an awful lot of carpentry work. So uh, a very busy eight weeks from our department. The guys have done us proud. I remember trying to hush people when we were in there. I was like, oh, yeah, we're actually just on a set. We don't have to be quiet. This isn't a real library. It's got that cathedral-like experience of academia right here in the middle of a studio. The scale of what they're trying to achieve through the design, through the sets, is phenomenal. It never stops making me just gasp. You can see the workmanship, they're geniuses. We've got a lovely real pine floor which has been stained, which makes everybody feel like it's a nice, big, heavy, real space when they're walking on it. The big glass window at the front was so incredible and it really let a lot of light in. So we have um, some lovely foam workers that come in and we sit with them and we work out the size of our mullions and then our scenics go in and make them feel like real stonework, ageing the glass and also our graphics department recreating the lovely crests that go on the window. So outside of these windows, there's huge, big PVC printed backdrops. Looking this way, we can see the extent of the whole space. So there's not really much of a roof on it, a whole world of rigging and wires and lights. So upstairs here on the balcony, lots more fake books. Building a big 360 degree set like this is really rewarding. This will be filled with 75, 80 people. Really the reason why we couldn't do it in the real space in the Bodleian. We need the ability to be able to put people upstairs, to be able to shine big lights through windows, to have a big crane and wind machines and all sorts going on downstairs. So this is our own functional, practical space that we can do what we like in.